So these color adjustments are starting to help a lot. Let's see how the head matches what I'm doing with the body. Matches pretty well, but I can always adjust back and forth. So if I think I pushed those magentas a little too much, I can go back to color balance. And I can put a little bit more green into it, especially into the highlights. A little bit more yellow back into it. And it's so good to make those adjustments before you have to finalize your edges. I'm going to burn the midtones a little on that head. might want to use those feathers to cover the shoulder. I'm not sure. And I can always use the sharpen tool. We went over this last class. You want to use it a lot like dodge and burn. All it does is increase contrast on edges. But I like to use everything at a pretty low strength because these tools move things pretty quickly. Okay. Then I can do the 100% soft eraser. Get rid of that hard edge around the head. easier now that it's all merged together. And we're not working for industrial lights and magic quite yet. So we don't need to be too perfectionist zooming in on everything. But we just want to be careful not to erase things we might want to use later. Okay. So I think that head coloring goes pretty well with that body and back coloring. Got this really funky, hairy shell kind of folding in. Some feathers in the front. So now I'm transitioning into the bottom part of the body and working on the weird stuff here. And for that, I'm going to dodge. I'm going to brighten the shadows because they got very, very dark in my levels adjustments. And then I can start gently erasing them away, especially where they're covered up by the arm. And if they get too colorful as I dodge or burn, like you can see all the strong purples that got brought out, then I can use the sponge tool, which is with dodge and burn, set to desaturate. And that won't darken it, it will just take some of that intense color away. Saturation means the intensity of the color. Before I go in with my eraser. And once I get rid of the hard edge, then I can do a lower opacity eraser.
and you can work with dodge and burn and softening to get the transitions between these textures and these elements that you want. So I'm going to burn the midtones of the fur right at the base of that shell. And if I overdo it and it gets too gray, then I can use the sponge tool to get saturation back. All of these tools are important. Let's see, let's try some direct level adjustment now just to deal with the shadows on that breastplate, like right there. Now that's starting to look better. So it's not so abruptly black. And sometimes you need a sharper edged eraser as well. And then remember, you can always use Command-T, and you can warp it, adjust it. Some of the, the classic compositing tools. Just think about the angle of the body and what makes sense. was like that, now it's like this, and I think that works a little bit better. All right. Nothing that can't be fixed with clone stamp. Save my work. Now the tail's kind of tricky. And the feet are kind of tricky, so let's start with the feet. See what we can do about their adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and merge them, put them both on the same layer by selecting both feet and then doing layer merge layers. Shortcut for that is Command E. That's just so when I do adjustments, it will affect both of them. So I'm going to darken the midtones, I'm going to limit the highlight. I don't think I want to deepen the shadows. In fact, I might want to limit the shadows a tiny bit. Now for, even though they're white fur, color balance is going to pick up on the pinks. And it's an off-white that has some color, so I could push it in different directions. I still want it to feel like white fur, but lit by the same conditions that are lighting the rest of my creature. But it is tricky playing with, with off-white because all the color adjustments will move everything so quickly. So it went from, from this to this to this. It's a very subtle temperature shift, but I think one that will be helpful. Then I can start transitioning first with a 100% soft eraser. Just getting rid of that hard edge. And then with lower opacity, maybe slightly smaller. Start to transition that fur. I don't have quite as much overlap as I would like though. So this might be where clone stamp is necessary. Yeah, let's take that opacity down a little bit more. The 
just very subtle. So how can clone stamp be helpful here? Well, I'm going to go to that same clone stamp layer I used for the shell. And I'm going to work on that layer because it's all the layers below. And I can use the clone stamp tool. And I can take fur from one area and paint it in another. at different opacities. But I have to pay attention to the direction of the fur. And how that works. Then I can move that up above the feet. So instead of erasing away, I'm actually building more brown fur texture into the feet to soften it. Because I didn't actually have enough overlap with those squirrel feet. Squirrel feet aren't that thick. And what's so great about using Clone Stamp on its own layer is that I can always erase away from it as well. It's just like Dodge and Burn, it's, it tends to get overused. It's easy to get carried away. So you can do quite a bit like that. Let's see, steal from the arm a little bit. And then you can decide, oh, that's too much. I want to just erase away without losing the layers underneath. So non-destructive editing is what that's called. You make duplicates and you make changes to the duplicate. OK, so far so good. Using auto select to move around layers. Using dodge and burn. Using erasers. Anything to get everything looking like it's all part of the same creature. Okay, the tail. Back behind everything. I want to play with its just positioning a little. It would be great if I could have it kind of flow from these scales. That will feel more believable. This is the axolotl tail. And in order to see it, I need to erase a little bit away from the feet here. Let's go to that layer. And then I can even warp it and just tug this hip out a little bit to fit my anatomy a little bit better. 